Good evening, YouTube. My wife went out dancing, leaving me home alone with the kids, which means I have to find something to fix in the house or, or else I'm going to start getting twitchy. This grinder pump has been here in my basement powder room since I moved in 10 years ago, and while I was ready for the roof to leak, pipes to burst, boiler issues, I just prayed I would never be forced to learn how these things work. Alas. No, princess lady, it's not your time. This is where the little turds' playroom is, and they need somewhere convenient to go potty. Leave the lights on, buddy. Daddy said no. I'm working down here, buddy. I need the lights. No. The problem isn't that it doesn't turn on. The problem is that it doesn't turn off. I have no idea how these work, but it can't be that complex, so I'm just gonna relax, squat down, and take a good old-fashioned look inside. The tank doesn't have to come off, but I have a feeling I'm gonna wish I had. Nice to flush some fresh water through there before you take it apart. There are Robertson screws in my American standard toilet. Those wily Canucks. Quebec, Ontario, BC, Alberta. In that order. You just gotta hold the screw still while you crack the nuts loose. Your nuts should be snug, but not super tight. It's just a rubber donut seal between the tank and the bowl and all the nuts do is keep the donut compressed enough to not leak. Why, oh, thank you, Lunch Brigade. I need to take the poopy shredder apart. Can you go play trains, please? Thank you. Almost forgot the water supply line. This is what fills the tank, and it's also where you tee in your cheap Amazon bidet and change your life. Imagine, consequence-free Taco Bell. Don't pull that off, buddy. See, when you pull this one off, the other one falls in and then it doesn't stick to the magnet, see? Now Daddy has to fish it out. I swear, you keep doing this just to troll me. Just like your mother. Yay! What do you say? This is where the honey gets pumped out to the sewer pipe, and there has to be a check valve downstream somewhere. Otherwise, I don't know how you would disconnect this without sewage draining back into your basement. Oh, black water, keep on rolling. Ugh, oh, it stinks. Hopefully this is just a little hose back draining and not my entire septic tank. Otherwise, gonna need a bigger bucket. I need an adult! Why is the hose always backwards? Poorly labeled piece of shit.
Gonna make my wife clean that one out. Probably should have taken the filter off first. Learn from my mistakes. The check valve is in the elbow. I undid the wrong hose clamp. Something back there is holding the lid on and I can't say it. Took this panel off. I'm sure at least one of you is a plumber, so if you see any glaring issues back here, let me know. Any mistakes are the previous owners, by the way. I'm an engineer, not a plumber, which means I understand how to do plumbing, but not necessarily how plumbing should be done. It's a little locking tab. It's made out of adamantium, and it's located in the worst possible spot. Gross. Who needs gloves when you have copious amounts of bleach? Want to come see the poopy? No! No! What are you holding? No! Here's the macerator, and here is the float switch. It doesn't actually smell as bad as I expected, but the visual is something else. I am not nearly hot enough to put this on the internet and get away with it, so I'm going to disconnect the sink, shower, and toilet drains, undo the anchor screws, and take this at back, and shoot it. Crap. All right, finished fertilizing my lawn, and I think it's clean enough to show uncensored. Like I said, macerator pump and float switch. The float switch just has one of these quick disconnect clips so you squeeze and remove, but there's really no point because you still can't get it out. It's wired directly to the bowel blender, so we're going to take the whole thing out as one assembly. Two ceiling screws in the front and one up the rear. You happy, Dave? I only did that because you subscribed to my Patreon. So it's not a float switch, it's a diaphragm switch. Hydrostatic pressure, or nasty static pressure, increases as the reservoir fills until it overcomes the spring pushing back on the diaphragm and closes the circuit. And it feels weak. Gotta break the ironclad waterproof seal. This is revoltingly slippery. So that's what the diaphragm pushes on, and when it's done pumping honey out, the hydrostatic pressure drops and the pump turns off. Carefully undo the locking tab here. and the one on the other side. Then go back and undo the first one again. Repeat ad nauseum until you break out of the matrix and get both unclipped at the same time. Yank firmly, but gently. Don't wanna break any wires, but I also need to pull the power cord through the grommet. Here's where they hid the start capacitor for the pump motor. If yours isn't running, but it hums and buzzes, and you'd rather deal with poop than spend $850 on a new one, this is a cheap thing to try. This one is 45 microfarads. 
Here's the micro switch. They're cheap and plentiful, so it's not going to be the problem. They usually don't fail closed. They usually fail open. But let's get old Sparky out to make sure. As expected. Never that easy. Got her plugged in, and given the horsepower of the motor and the turd razors on the other end, I've opted for some creative restraints in case he tries to get froggy on me. You know what? That's pretty docile. It's working normally without the diaphragm, so I think I'm just going to clean it, reassemble it, and test it with a garden hose. Sometimes that's all it takes. Always use silicone grease on O-rings that have to slide between ceiling surfaces. It keeps them from chafing or rolling off, causing leaks and shorting out your poop shooter. It also aids reassembly. <sighs> Hold on, let me go have some spinach. Absolutely use bleach to disinfect your tools when you're done, but for the love of God, rinse them off with water right away. <sighs> Special shout out to my Patreon subscribers. Thanks for all your support. I realize you haven't seen a single dollar of your investment back in these videos since I started that thing, but I have something big, greasy, dangerous, and Soviet coming in the mail. Something I wouldn't have been able to buy without your help. So stay tuned.